Good afternoon, Pro Cutters. John back for another DIY with John. And today we're going to show you how to do an oil change in a 2013 Ford F-150 Raptor. Stick around, you might learn something. Take a moment to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what you got going on. Do you change your own oil or do you have it done by somebody? Let me know. All right. We're going to get to it. Before you start, you're going to want to run your vehicle for a while, bring it up to operating temperature. That way the oil can flow out much nicer. Then you're going to open your hood, and I'm not going to show you that because I showed you that in the Jeep video, and I think most people know how to open their hood. This particular vehicle takes seven quarts of 5W20 oil. Uh, I use a full synthetic. Another thing I like to do before I take out the drain plug is I go ahead and I pull the oil cap and I also pull out the dipstick a little bit that way it can breathe down through there and then underneath the truck you've got your oil drain plug which is right there and that is a 5 8 SAE socket or wrench to loosen that. And you're also going to need a T40 Torx. So you can take off these four bolts in your skid pan so you have access to your oil filter. All right, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to slide under your truck. You're going to slide your oil drain pan down there. And then you're going to take out the drain bolt. I like to wear rubber gloves for this part because it makes a little bit of a mess. And so now we've got our oil draining. So you can slide back out of there. That's going to take a minute. And so while you're waiting for your oil to drain, you can swap out your 5.8 socket for your T40 Torx bit. And I like to use a two and a half inch extension on that. You go ahead and take out these four. And so with the skid pan off, now you have access to your oil filter and I'll go ahead and show that. Up in through there you can see you have your oil filter and it's got a little drip reservoir that comes to here so it'll drain out of here the overflow from when you're pulling that filter off because it's loaded with oil but we're gonna wait for the rest of the oil to drain out that way we can slide our oil drain pan up this way before we take off our oil filter All right, so now that your oil is done draining, you can put your drain plug back into place. Some vehicles are gonna have a copper crush wire. This vehicle does not. So just make sure that you're doing whatever you need for your vehicle. And once you get that hand tight, you put your wrench back on it and snug it up and then Give it another little pull. You don't want to crank it down too much, but it does need to be tight to where it's not going to back out. So now we can go ahead and slide forward and get the oil filter off. OK, 
Okay, and on this filter that I'm using, I can go ahead and use my special filter wrench. Some of them won't fit, some of them you've got to use a different style of wrench or a strap wrench works good for anything. But now that we've got her loose, we can go ahead and spin her off by hand and I don't know if you can see from up there, but the excess oil that's coming out goes into the little drain trough and then down into my pan. And so now we just wait for that to drain. Okay, and so while you're waiting for that to drain out, you can go ahead and prep your new filter. I'm using a Purolator and for the 6.2 liter gas engine Raptor, you want the PL24651. And then what you're gonna do is pre-fill it up with oil. So you take your new 5W50 weight oil and you go ahead and you fill that up. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do also is just dip your finger in some oil and go ahead and rub some oil around the rubber o-ring that's on your oil filter and that aids in giving you a good seal and making sure you can get it off when it's time to change your oil again and you go ahead and put a little bit more oil in it because it soaks down into the filter so go ahead and fill it again and now we're ready to install this filter and so you're gonna go ahead and start threading that on Once you get it pretty good and hand tight, put your wrench on and give her another quarter turn and you're good to go. And so with your drain plug back in place and your new oil filter put on, you can go ahead and get you a clean filter and start to refill your engine with the fresh, clean, 5W20 oil. Like I said, I use a full synthetic. I've got 104,000 miles on my truck now. And so I did start using the high mileage synthetic. And I, I really don't think you need to use expensive oils as long as it's got the ratings and the dextrose and everything the walmart super tech oil is just fine and as you can see i also use the rural king full synthetic oil as well like i said it really this is my daily driver i'm not racing the baja off-road series and so i don't believe that I need to put expensive oil in. For daily driving, any full synthetic is gonna be perfectly fine. And so that's seven quarts, cause I had two quarts left of the SuperTech oil. And this was a full five quarts of the Harvest King oil. So with that done, we've got Pull the funnel out of the way, put the oil cap back on, and then while the oil is running down into the engine, we can go ahead and do a little cleanup work down below as well. So you can see I've got some oil that's still coming dripping down from the little drain trough, so I'm just going to take a paper towel. And I'm going to wipe that out of there. And there's a little bit of oil there. I'm going to wipe that out. And then we'll be ready to put the skid pan. Alright, so now that's all cleaned up. 
we can go ahead and get our skid pan back on. I like to go ahead and get them all started first by hand. That way they're lined up. And I've already wiped the excess oil off of the front sway bar and the engine oil pan because there's a little bit on there as well. So now you just tighten these back down and you just want to snug them up. No need to over tighten anything. I'm, I'm sure there's a torque rating on this, but you know, just give it a little pull. Once it gets snug, I usually give it another eighth turn. And so in my infinite wisdom, my last two scenes, uh, my fat fingers had bumped the phone from camera, from video to picture. So I'll just uh, go back over this. What I did was you've got your oil dipstick here, push it all the way in, pull it out, clean it off with a paper towel or a rag, put it back in all the way, pull it back out to check your level. And like I said, 2013, Ford F-150 Raptor with a 6.2 liter gas engine takes seven quarts and so we are right on the money right where we need to be and that's it it's really that simple to change your own oil and if you do it yourself you know it's been done right so there's no sense in taking it to Jiffy Lube or something like that where these guys are just gonna tear it up on you and not do a good job in most cases not saying all of them are bad but I've heard some horror stories from friends that don't change their own oil, so I always take care of my own. It, you know, it's just easier. I hope you learned something. I hope you're having a great day. Take it easy, and we'll see you on the next one. DIY with John, signing out.